Mikey? Cleaner. 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 It wasn't the deepest strap, but I just wanted to get it all detailing when we get home. We're about to drive right back in the dirt. Who's the most excited boy right now? This dude. I'm also sweating like a We got fresh loofers. And we're so ready to go shower. Oh my god. It's been such a long day and we're both so nasty. <laughs> About nine days we're honing in on this ripeness so we'll see you when we're squeaky clean. Clean and eating a sandwich in the pilot. The is semi-clean. She's Jujine. Everyone observe the Juj. A Juj from a fellow Ginge. <laughs> These sandwiches were so necessary because we nervously horked down all of our fruit right at the border because we thought we were going to get in trouble. Mm. And this is the only thing we've eaten today. What? There's not any Doritos on there. Oh my god, it has spinach. Well, spinach goes well with Doritos. It's already dark, basically, and we still have a 20-minute drive to our campsite, so we're gonna just go while we can go. Hopefully it's not a crazy road. Then again, we were just in Mexico for like seven weeks, eight weeks. Should be good. We made it. It was quite a bumpy road, um, quite a bit of silty stuff, but we did make it and we're at a nice spot. It's dark, can't really see what it looks like, but it, there's a lake, I think, right over there. And uh, yeah, we got the essentials finally back again. One of those mornings we wake up. I love them goldfish. Couldn't find them anywhere in Mexico, so that's pretty exciting. All right, I never remember these lights are in here, but Kenzie loves them, so I put them on for her. I kind of forgot they were in here too. It's so nice. It's a nice light. I, I love, I love Twinkie lights. Now that the ambiance is set, we're gonna eat some goldfish, have some ice cream sandwiches, and for real this time, go to bed. All right. Good morning. It was a good sleep. It was cold, but it smelled like cow poop all night so is what it is I'm feeling pretty exhausted yesterday was a long day stayed up pretty late last night got up really early this morning I'm gonna make a plan and start heading towards home start heading towards the baby boy and see our puppy because we miss him soon enough we'll be heading out of here and back on the road we're trying to push to I think Phoenix Maybe stay at a cracker, and then we've got to change our oil tomorrow morning. We're not going to do it here. We got all the stuff for it at Walmart on our very long errand day. But we'd have to carry the oil out on that road we came in on, and I don't want to do that. And this is a really pretty sight, so shouldn't get out of here. We shouldn't mess it up with any oil spillage or anything like that. So it's way more comfortable doing a Walmart parking lot. here. I'm actually stoked we came here. Drive-in was a little rough last night, but I think it's worth it. Nice to still wake up on the water even after we've left Mexico. It's about that time though. We've got to hit the road. Hence the on the road t-shirt. It's time to get a move on. We're trying to hit Phoenix today, so onward to a Cracker Barrel. This was a nice change because we're going to be city hopping now. Or if not, then um, we'll be in Oregon at some Such point. Such a good time. Oh, right we'll see you again. Yeah. But yeah, we got we got so space funny. and that was so choice meeting each other. Like what fate? I mean, oh yeah. Get tired, pull over, get hungry, eat some. Yeah. Eat some. <laughs> 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 Go catch a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. It was so much fun meeting them. Jesse and Andy are definitely like our type of people. It's so awesome to meet people like that on the road that you just like vibe with so hard. And like, they're the coolest kids on the block. They're Vanagon people, so that was awesome.
10 minutes into our drive through the Imperial Sand Dunes, we started to get hot and she has not really regulated herself since. And it would appear that we are coming up on some kind of pass because there's a lot of peaks in front of us. It could be a very long trip home, 17 hours, going 40 miles an hour. Yeah, which makes it more like 30 hours. Okay, yeah, that doubles it easily. Not the greatest welcome back to America, but as soon as we get home, because we have a warranty on our Jasper engine, we are going to take her into the shop and be like, you need to fix this, because we live in Colorado, and it's not exactly flat there, as you may know. We are plucking along on a highway that's 65, going about 35. Righteous. Chase is trying to make the, the old Mexican blinker work here, where you let people know to pass you, and nobody's catching on. Nobody's catching on at all. So, obviously, they don't know any Baja. Don't have any Baja in their life. Chase said they're uncultured swine. We're gonna try to make it happen. We're gonna make it happen for sure. People will catch on. We're gonna start this in America right now. sweet little bus. She got pretty hot again. We just crossed the state line and saw a rest area. We only had to make it 14 more miles to go do a top off on gas but there was a pass coming up or some kind of grade and we're like we'll just give her a moment to cool down. Maybe we'll eat a sandwich or a salad or something but poor bus. Can't wait to get her checked out and just make sure she's like 1000% good. <sighs> All you can do is just roll with the punches, folks. So, hopefully we'll hit that uh, gas station soon, see what those prices are like, get back on the road. We've made the executive decision to chill at this rest stop for a little bit until the sun drops and the temperature goes down here in the desert, because it is, yep, 109 up front, 97 back here. We threw our little cooling towels in the freezer for getting them wet. And we've got a fan in, so I'm just gonna watch a movie, let the sun drop, let the world get a little less hot, and then get back on the road. Might be a slower journey home than we thought. 16 hours and 30 minutes, looking more like 25 hours, possibly 30, I don't really know. But we're doing what we can to stay cool and make sure that we don't like spontaneously combust. At least we have our house with us. Life could be much worse. I didn't expect the land of milk and honey to be so damn hot. It's hotter than it was in Mexico. On the road again. All right, well, we watched some Game of Thrones, chilled at the rest stop, let her cool down a little bit, and we're climbing a big ass hill right now. Seems to be doing really well. It's so hot. It's just like a heat stroke right now happening. It's 101 in the front of the bus and it's 9.45 at night. We're supposed to get down into the 50s tonight here, but we're just outside of Phoenix. We made it to the infamous Cracker Barrel. Nobody's died next to the bus. We're gonna get some sleep because we're gonna try and hit the road early. Maybe get her oil changed so Chase doesn't have to lay on the ground and do it himself. It'd be super cool if we did. And then we get to return all that stuff from Walmart, get a little money back, and I can get some bread and some deli meat to keep on this no-cook sandwich run. I bought brassies, and I can't even cook them because it's so hot. I don't want to eat them so bad. It's nighttime, so we'll catch you on the flip side. Good night. 
Good morning from the cracker. <coughs> we are up bright and early listening to the beautiful song of a lawnmower here in the city in a really lovely, nice, flat, black gravel top parking lot. Swing and a miss, so to speak. They would not put the bus on a lift, and they said they were fully booked out today, so... Chase and I are at the Walmart, and Chase is going to change the oil himself. So, bummer start to the morning. I was hoping that we'd get an oil change and he wouldn't have to do it. Maybe they'd have a coffee machine in there. Uh, no, What's up? <laughs> Coming out. Comfy? <laughs> oh yeah, it's great. <sighs> Give it a few. And, uh... Put the filter in and I'll fill her back up and ready to hit the road. Yet again. I have to fucking oil myself in the parking lot with no lift, no blocks, or the engine is touching my chest. Freaking sweet. Thanks, every oil shop out there. They seriously do discriminate against us because we're a bus. We just pull it and they're like, no, no. Good. It's discount tire. Chase finished the oil. Our front tires were good. We were only a pound short. But our back ones, our back ones seem pretty low. Uh, 72 that's letting it out. I think they're letting air out of our tires. Like we came here for the air. It's going up now. Oh, okay, never mind. It's filling. We on our way. Tires filled, and then we hit the road. We overheated. Well, Again, we would have been fine, but for whatever reason on this highway, right at the base of the hill, like, everybody slows down. So we had to stop down to like five miles an hour, and then it's like the biggest climb of the whole highway. Where we stopped, there was a sign that said, avoid overheating, turn off your air conditioner for next five miles. We were both like, no! Yeah, like, uh, we've had our air conditioning off for the last 4,000 miles, so... <sighs> got back on the road. She cooled down pretty fast. It was like 15 minutes. And I think we're going to start going downhill. So we're just going to keep trucking along at 2,000 RPMs, going 40 miles an hour on a 65 highway. And hope we, uh, we can get some miles under our belt. Once again, we are pulled over. I'm trying to let her regulate. What number is this? Five or six. Five or six, I don't know. We pretty much drive for maybe 20 minutes if we're lucky and then we have to pull over. The, oop, where's my finger? That number? Yeah. 135 degrees up front while we were driving. That was just like on me. The heating is on, so for the overheating. And it's just like cooking me. Luckily we are at the top of the elevation, so it's Probably about 65, 70 degrees here. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, get some work done. It's a tiny bit of nipple. We got some editing done. Um, got some relaxation for a little bit, a little break from the road. It is now almost six o'clock, so the sun's starting to go down. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get a little further down the road and find ourselves a place to sleep. 